Why does IPv6 allow fragmentation at source only? A one-line answer to this question is to prevent performance drag in routing. Let's take a look at this in a little more detail. The predecessor to IPv6 was IPv4. Now IPv4 allows the source node to send a datagram of any size that its local link can handle. So if there is a source and the link to its first hub router is called as the local link. Now the sender can send out a datagram of the size that its local link can handle. This local link might not lead to the first hub router, it might as well be a link on the ethernet or the LAN and therefore the source can send out a data of any size that its local link can handle. If down the line there exists a router which is not able to handle a data, handle the datagram of that bigger space. Suppose the sender or the source sends out a datagram of size 2000 bytes because its local link can handle that. But this datagram cannot be handled by this particular link that exists between router 1 and router 2. So when the datagram arrives at router 1, router 1 would perform fragmentation. Suppose the link between router 1 and router 2 can handle data of size 512 bytes only. So now the data, the datagram would be fragmented into four datagrams and these four datagrams would now be successfully transmitted from router 1 to router 2 and then further down the line according to the, the capacity of the links. This fragmentation at the router that is allowed in IPv4 results in increased time in the delivery of data because once the router receives the data it stores the complete datagram at its in its buffer and then fragments the data and then sends it out sends it out to the next router in path this is a time consuming process and may result in a congested path and thereby dropping the overall throughput of the path IPv6 has placed a constraint that the fragmentation can only be done at the source and it cannot be done at the routers that exist from the path from the source to the destination. There are two ways to handle this. One that the source uses a default datagram size. which can be 512 bytes or 1500 bytes and this default datagram size also called as MTU or the maximum transmission unit is followed by the source, the destination and all the links that exist between the source from the destinations and between the routers that are on this path. A second way to deal with this is called path MTU discovery. The path MTU discovery works as follows. The sender before sending out the data would send out test packets and over a cycle would determine the maximum size of data that can be sent in a single frame or in a single IP datagram. One of the disadvantages of the source only fragmentation constraint put forward by IPv6 can be seen in a scenario where there exists more than one path from the source to the destination. So consider a scenario like this, the source and the destination. There exist two paths from the source to the destination. This is path 1. 
and there is just another part of the same hop count or maybe a different hop count between the same source and destination suppose that the maximum size of data that can be handled on the links from path 1 is 512 bytes and the maximum data that can be handled on the links of path 2 is 1500 bytes. Now when the source starts sending the data initially, it would send the data on path 2. Now these routers on path 2 may be transmitting the data on some other link as well and therefore there might be a congestion on this path. So when a congestion on path 2 occurs, the source would then start routing the data through path 1. But the path 1 routers would not be able to handle the datagram of size 1500 bytes. And therefore the source would have to again fragment the data and send it through path 1. Say after a point of time, path 2, the congestion on path 2 gets cleared and the source again starts routing from path 2 to the destination. Now, the datagrams of source have actually dropped down from 1500 bytes which it was transmitting on path 2 to 512 bytes which it had to cut down because it was transmitting through path 1. So now the source would be transmitting data through path 2 but the datagrams would be of size 512 bytes only and as it is evident from this that the maximum capacity of the link is not being utilized and therefore the maximum throughput is not getting achieved. This is the concept behind source only fragmentation at IP.